So I'm here at Club Med. Been here for six days now. I'm gonna show you around the place, show you the skiing, show you the hotel, show you everything. Like the video, subscribe, all of that. That'd be great. It's a cool place. Let's get into it. So I actually booked the transfer through Club Med itself. And it was a semi-private transfer, it was actually great. Um, a lot of the buses take a lot longer, so I'd highly recommend doing that. As you can see here, there's welcome drinks and the entrance to the hotel, along with this climbing wall that I'll show you later. So this is the premium room. It's got a safe. Lots of storage. Oh, and an ironing board, that's handy. Nice big bathroom. Lots of nice body balms and soaps. Shower bath, hair dryer, outlet for charging. Lots of towels. Some hangers. Nice, spacious bedroom. Very nice. Some coffee. Oh, big bottle of water. Radiator. Balcony. With a view, but it's currently white out. We'll see that tomorrow. It is really quiet in here, which is something that I value a lot when I'm away on these trips, especially when you pay this sort of money, you don't want to be disturbed by other people and it's deathly quiet in here. It's so quiet in here. So, happy days. Very happy with it. Let's go check out the rest of the hotel. Just connected to the Wi-Fi, which is fairly straightforward. Um, there is a premium Wi-Fi where you get faster and more connections or something like that, but I only need one, so that's fine. Um, it seems really fast, which is good. Also, the 4G and 5G here is also rapid. So if you've got unlimited roaming, just do that. This place is massive, I'm not gonna lie. They've got so many different lifts for different parts. Like, look how long this corridor is. Um, but everything seems to be based around the fourth floor. So I'm gonna go and have a check out, check out of that. I'm gonna go and check that out. I'm gonna go and look at it, yeah. As you can see, it was fairly white out that day. Um, that is the ski in, ski out area. There's a small games area there, um, along with the seating area and the lifts to take you down to the ski lockers. There is a shop there, which I bought some gloves from. Um, wasn't overpriced at all. So that's really good to have in the hotel. And here you have coffee machines and everything that you'll need. Just if you want a coffee in the afternoon, plenty of seats and areas. So as you can see, they're setting up the after ski snacks just here, um, croissants, sandwiches, everything. Then we move on to an outside area, which wasn't very appetizing that day because it was snowing so much, um, but it's a great place to come and chill out and get some afternoon sunshine. There is a jacuzzi, which you can hire um, privately. Here's a closer look at some of the afternoon snacks they put out. And as I say, this is just to tide you over before dinner or to make things a bit easier once you get back from skiing. There is a climbing wall, which I will be attempting. Um, fantastic to have that option and something for the kids to do. Uh, there are two table tennis tables and a poker table. Um, here we have the restaurant that you can book. Now there is the standard canteen buffet style restaurant, but you also have this restaurant that you can book and you can book it as much as you like. And it's a bit more intimate 
and has a set menu. So there is actually an app that you can download, the Club Med app, where you can book this restaurant and lots of other spa treatments and request things to your room. I'll put that in here now. Uh, it was very helpful, highly recommend it. Made things very easy. Here's just a brief look at the drinks menu. So they do cocktails, beers, wine, um, and also paid additional premium alcohol. Here's a quick look at the dinner buffet. Um, there's so many options here. Every night it was different. Um, plenty for vegans, vegetarians, meat eaters, the lot. Um, I had a lot of the steak and pasta and I'm not really a dessert guy, but these desserts were actually really nice. Continuing the tour, I managed to find the boot room. So in most places, the boot rooms are small, not here. It's actually enormous, which is great when there's lots of people. They also have orange and coffee and things like that right where you need it. So you can come in and grab a coffee straight away. They throw events every night. There's something new every single night. So always easy to go up and check it out. And it's right on your doorstep and all the drinks are free. So everything is very, very easy. So it's the next day, sun's out, looks amazing. Time to go and get some breakfast. So it's morning here and it is looking like an unbelievable day. Look at all the snow. Um, just waiting for the lifts to open in five minutes, but I'm going to get my, she, my skis. I'm going to get my skis sharpened and waxed, which is 13 euros, and they do it at the hotel, which is ideal. That's at nine. Ski shop opens at nine on Sundays. And one of the lifts has just opened. And I think it's going to be a great day. Let's get after it. As you can see, straight from the boot room, you're straight out onto the slope. So it's, again, very straightforward. This is the main lift in town, which actually takes you right over the top of Club Med itself. As you can see here, you've got all the rooms, you've got the restaurant. And it's in the perfect location. And that is the door where you actually come out and there is the ski slope, which makes it very easy to ski in and ski out. This is the run to actually get you back down to the hotel for a spot of lunch or a quick drink.
I have to say that was the easiest lunch I've ever had in the mountains. I had steak and um, a Toz flip thing. Um, like fresh veg, ooh, salad, <clears throat> and a beer, obviously. Um, it was so quick, it was like half an hour, whereas usually you'd spend about probably two hours with all the faff, and it would cost you about 60 quid to get what I just ate, maybe more uh, than 60 euros, roughly 70 euros. So, um, based on lunch alone, I'm really starting to like this old Club Med vibe. I mean, look at that view. So I managed to use some of the facilities after skiing today. So I went to the steam room, which was fantastic. Um, there's no sauna or anything, but I don't really think you need it. You can pay for spa treatments, but I didn't need to. I had to go at the climbing. I'll put some footage in now. Um, that was really fun. And you didn't have to book it. You just turn up and say you want to do it. And you do it. Um, yeah. So... I'm all climbed out, I've relaxed in the spa, now I'm eating some of the snacks that they uh, give you. They're actually really tasty, obviously French bread is amazing. And yeah, going to have a couple of hours to relax. One thing I would say is I actually brought my own skis and boots, but if you are hiring skis, it's a really easy place to do it, probably the easiest I've ever heard, because they put them in the locker for you when you turn up so you don't have to go to a ski shop and queue up with all the other people that are there and I mean I think it's the same price as going to the ski shop but they just put them in the locker and also at the end of your trip you just leave them in the locker so it saves you potentially hours and a load of hassle and it's just all easy so yeah if you're going to hire skis there's not a better place to do it so as well as the all-inclusive food that I've been eating and showing you, which has actually been amazing, like the best of any all-inclusive that I've been to, they have a restaurant that you can book. Now, usually at these things, you usually get like one a week that you're allowed to book there. Now here, you can book it whenever you like. You can book it for basically every day. I've actually liked the food at the all-inclusive one so much that I didn't really think to book it. But for the purposes of showing you guys, I've booked it. So let's go and have a look at that restaurant and see what their food's like. And if it stands up to the cafeteria style, help yourself buffet from the all-inclusive. Let's see. Get in my soup. So I just got back from the restaurant we book. Um, it was good. I mean, the food was really good, the service was good. They don't serve drinks as fast as they do in the other restaurant, but that's fine. Um, it's definitely more of a romantic vibe than sort of for someone by themselves or a group of lads or a group of girls. But yeah, definitely try it. You can book it as much as you like um, and it's free. And as I say, in all inclusives, you usually get like one or two bookings, but you can just book this all the time. Um, you are limited. I mean, the starter and the dessert weren't great, to be honest. And I would have rather have been at the uh, all-inclusive sort of buffet style. Um, but the the main was good. The duck was really good. And yeah, I don't think I'll be booking it again. But it's an option. You can use it. One-off romantic night but you'll agree with me <laughs> that you want to go back to having steak and then pasta and then having all the desserts that you can choose from. And yeah, you just have more options and the food's actually really good in the um, buffet style section. It's not a typical buffet, as it were. It's actually like really, really, really good food. So I won't be booking it again, but it was a nice experience. Hope you guys likes in and yeah tomorrow I'm gonna be having five steaks and two pastas again as I mentioned they do throw events every night uh, tonight was a big night 
this night was particularly busy. I think it was the Friday night. And there was lots of free flowing alcohol, music, dancing, everything. Look at this. Look at this. Another one around. This guy's on a bit. Look at that. Class. So, that's the week done. Um, I thought I'd just summarise my overall experience and thoughts. Um, everything's been very, very easy. Whatever stress that you normally have when it comes to skiing or snowboarding, is just made 10 times easier from getting your skis, as I mentioned, that they just appear in your locker, um, to having to go out and find a restaurant with good food, to find a bar that you can get into that's not completely round and horrible. Um, that's all taken away from you, just with this. You just walk downstairs, you put probably the best food I've ever had in Val Turin, and it was at the normal, um, all-inclusive canteen buffet section, not the restaurant, even though that was fine as well. The bar here, the drinks are just going all the time. I've got an espresso martini here. Um, yeah, the skis and everything like that, it's just easy for everyone. Um, even the finding a snack when you come back from skiing, um, usually it would involve going to the local shop, the Sherpa, and and which is like their 7-Eleven and get finding something that just ties you over until dinner um, where you have, would have to have made a reservation at the restaurant. Whereas here, you ski back, you don't even think about it. Your skis go in the locker, take the lift up, you go to the bar, someone hands you a welcome back drink, there's a massive spread of food um, and yeah, it ties you over until dinner time. And there's entertainment going on there as well. They usually have a musician or something like that when you get back. So it's just a, a moment to catch your breath before going back to your room and um, showering up for the evening. But overall, I would say it is entirely worth it. Now you can look at the amount that you're spending and it seems like a lot from the off. But if you take into account, especially with the transfer, I know that's more, but get the transfer and then the ski rental, if you're gonna do it, do it through here. Um, all the food, all the drink, all the snacks, all of the service, um, the rooms themselves, it's amazing. Turn down service every day. All the shower gels and everything like that that you get are lovely. They're not rubbish ones, they're actually really good. Um, the ski in, ski out, the every, everything, the steam room, the everything, the lessons that you can sign up for, so you get five lessons with it as well. And yeah, I don't can't remember if I said the lift pass, but the lift pass, because that's almost 400 euros for a week. So, I mean, when you take all of that into account, it's definitely worth it. That, even on the first day when you ski back in and you go up to the snack bar and they hand you a drink and all of that, you, you will notice how much easier it is than other hotels and ski resorts. So I would do it again. I might actually struggle to do skiing any other way than this. Um, but yeah, I would definitely do it again. Loved it, worth every penny. If you'd like to stay here, I'll put a link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, uh, so I do get a kickback if you book through it, thanks very much. But it doesn't cost you any more. If anything, I'm going to link to the best deals. So, saves you time. Keep back for me. Thanks very much.